This is part two of the series, so don't be confused by the same intro. Hey, I'm Sakasaurus Rex, and these are my videos about making custom Fang Jack specific figures at 4 inch scale and 2.5 inch. This is a three-part video series. The first video is how I made the 4-inch figure and the modeling work that went into creating both. The second is the 2.5-inch figure and making the armadilloid from Sonic Mania, as well as disaster striking in the middle of the project. And the third is a short video on how I made Fang's iconic vehicle, the Marvelous Queen. Fang is an old character, first appearing in 1994's Sonic Triple Trouble. Most recently appeared as a main villain in Sonic Superstars alongside Trip and Robotnik. The 2.5 inch was actually a commission from somebody online, but I figured if I'm making that, I might as well make the 4 inch as well. With my printer, you slice the 3D model into individual images that are then solidified in resin using a UV LCD screen. So I've unfortunately ran into a problem here. This section right here keeps having extra cured material and I have to empty out the entire vat between each print and I suspect the LCD in that section is going bad. That's unfortunate. The process of cleaning up the resin is a huge pain and with this section of the LCD failing it was causing resin to harden in that spot between prints. But, I had an idea. I have this kit for fixing electronics. I'm not going to use any of the tools in it. Instead, it comes with a little sticker book to let people know when you fix something. These are nice and solid, and light doesn't really get through them very easily. But most importantly, they're thin, so I can place it down in between the glass and the plastic part. So I just placed a few of these over the problem areas to complete the project. I wasn't sure it would work, but as it turns out, I'm a secret genius. The prints come out fine for now as long as I don't print in that area. When researching the games that Fang makes appearances in, I came across one scene in a game where a mirage of Fang attacks while riding an armadilloid badnik. I really loved the look of the character, and I felt like 3D modeling something fully original for this project, so I built one out. I just eyeballed the proportions and the details, because there's not a lot of references for this baddie. Especially in anything other than sprite form. I don't know if he's ever been created in a 3D game. Then I sliced the files as usual in Cheetah Box. And I printed them on my Elegoo Saturn. I made one that could be stood on by the figure and one that just looks normal. Then I cleaned up the prints and it was time to paint. I used this gray surface primer over everything. Then I used a dark brown as a base. Then using Citadel brand Gehenna's Gold and Woolbreaker's Red, I painted up the shell to have a gold and maroon scheme like in the games. Sure you really wanna go? I don't wanna go, but I can't stay. As long as I'm here, I put everyone in danger. I can't do that. These last two days have been the best two days of my life. I added some silver for the details of the bolts around the edges. And I finished it off with some black pupils. This rotary tool is really great. I used it for the first time on this project. Check the description for a link to the product. I ground down the hairs on the body to make it nice and smooth. 
Then I clipped off the bottom of the feet so that they could stick into the shoes. Then I was ready to start painting the figure itself. But first I tried dyeing it. On strip, I had pretty good results. The legs just turned completely black, it was awesome. So I went to Michael's, my local craft shop, and got a few different colors of red dye more. I plopped them in the dye and let them sit. The prints took to the color well, but Tail's body barely changed color. Super unfortunate, really ugly. Then did all the brown pieces and they took to the brown all right. I even tried another shade of purple on the body, but it's still no dice. I don't know if this is gonna melt the plastic when I set it in there. That's, yeah, it will. <laughs> you what? It'll melt the plastic. Oh. And heating it up didn't help that much either. So it was gonna have to be mostly painted. Still, the prints took to it fairly well. I went to a really cool local game store to pick up some good paints. They had plenty here. I used base Phoenician purple from Citadel brand. It's a mix of purple and some white to get it brighter. I used Rhinox hide for all the base for the brown parts. I had a ton of trouble trying to get the white to apply well. No matter how much I thinned the paint, it just kept going on real thick and left really bumpy. I added in some World Bearers Red to try to get the hat more of a color that it looks like in the games. And some silver on details like the metal plates and the pop gun. And then some more dry brushing of that World Bearers Red just to bring out highlights in the brown parts of the hat and the feet. And I took some black to do the rim of the hat as well as the eyeballs for the face. And then some white paint to do the chest hair. I used super glue to glue it all together. There's no articulation for the hands, just like a usual 2.5 inch figure. Most of them don't articulate the hand, even though I know some of them do. And after that, it was time to photograph. Doing a 2.5 inch figure was a real challenge. It's doubly difficult to get all the details as a larger four inch figure, and poor quality of the paintwork shows a lot more at this scale. But overall, I'm happy with how it turned out, and I hope my client feels the same way. So I'm pretty stoked about how that turned out. I've got a nice pair of figures here and I'm really looking forward to making more. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. I know I've got a lot of requests for uh, maskless trip uh, E102 Gamma, which is in progress. And I've got some really big ideas as well coming up. And if you like this video, like and subscribe and share. And thanks for watching to the end of the video. It really helps with getting YouTube to recognize that people are watching my stuff. Have a great rest of your day.